Global warming is affecting our lives here in Maine far beyond just smelt fishing. But is everything really all doom and gloom when it comes to Maine's changing climate? Here's meteorologist Keith Carson. Sometimes I hear, well, is it really a bad thing if we get warmer? Living in a place like Maine, it kind of makes sense at first glance. An extended summer tour season, less fuel intensive heating needs during the winter, and this leads to a deeper conversation that perhaps isn't being had enough. Is climate change really an existential threat to human survival? The short answer is no. Humans are unlikely to go extinct due to a two to four degree Celsius increase in temperatures. But the infrastructure created for our civilization is fragile and would be enormously impacted with deadly results. Food production is one of the biggest challenges in a warming planet. The current world population is a little over 8 billion, is it expected to grow to 10 billion by 2050. And according to Columbia University, the global demand for food could increase by more than 60% due to the population increase and growing desire of the middle class for meat and dairy. Now it's worth noting that increased carbon dioxide would benefit the growth of many plants and crops. However, the extreme weather caused by climate change, such as increased frequency of flood events and extended droughts, negates all of that advantage. For example, a 2018 study found that U.S. production of corn could be cut in half by a four degrees increase in global temperatures. According to a 2011 National Academy of Sciences report, for every degree Celsius the global temperature rises, there'll be a 5 to 15 percent decrease in overall crop production. And then there's the issue of sea level rise in population centers. Mainers know people love the ocean and living near it. That holds true not just in New England, not just in the United States, but across the entire world. According to the UN, roughly 40% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers or about 60 miles of the coast. With sea level rise projected to continue as emissions accumulate, that means cities and towns near the ocean need to either try to build protections from the ocean or raise and move crucial infrastructure. Both of these options are enormously expensive. A 2022 report by the UN Environmental Program estimates that adaptation costs could climb to roughly 200 billion by 2030 and 400 billion by 2050. The cost of emission mitigation is much lower than the cost of adaptation to a warming climate. And none of that even addresses the inequality and the impacts of a warming planet. Developing and poorer nations have been and will continue to be disproportionately impacted by food scarcity, sea level rise, and extreme weather.